We be fussing, we be screaming But you the one I wanna lay beside this evening I'm gonna come back even when I'm leaving You give good love and I receive it When you feeling down, I'ma sing to you That ring on your finger got a ring to it That's that real love, God fearing love It may not be how we dreamed it, but it's still love Can we ever sit down? Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Mm. Hold on. Here we go. Season three and you stole on your cell phone. Some things just are going to be permanent, aren't they? Uh, what I don't need. No, it's just a question. Some things are just going to be what they are, aren't they? In life, yeah. Are you trying to imply that you these are one of those things? Yes, sir. I, I don't know if that's applicable. Uh, I do uh, b- agree. But doesn't history, I mean, I only have history to go off on. If we if we rewind back all of the seasons, I mean, your cell phone has absolutely made an appearance in multiple episodes. But I've always also expressed that it's going to continue to do that. Correct, which is my question. Right. Is this a mainstay? I'm always going to maybe refer to my phone at some point during the show or whatever. You know, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's real life. It is. And it's also season three, episode three. It is. Of yeah. Make Marriage Great Again. <laughs> I have, we have a sick child at home. So yeah. this causes for a double shot of espresso. Normally I don't drink. If you haven't noticed, I have not been drinking any coffee. Yeah, I have noticed that. And when I do drink it, I don't put any espresso in it. It was really messing with my heart. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. You know, like flutters and palpitations. Palpitations? Pal- palpitations. Nice. Oh, snap. <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, job. No, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. A phone call came no, in, but why and I decided not to not mute? take it. You know, I decided to not take the call. We're literally, I'm, I'm so glad that these things are recorded because I feel like the people think that I be tripping. No, I don't think and they, I don't be tripping. I don't Y'all see it right that. here, live in the flesh. What's the big deal? How did it hurt anything? If you were on the Oprah Winfrey show, would your, would your phone be on mute? I'm not trying to be Oprah Winfrey in her show. This is make Here marriage great again. Here we go. You know. Here we go. You know what if I'm you saying? were on um, uh, ESPN with with Shannon Sharp and what's the man that ain't never played no ball but got something to say? Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith. Would your phone be on? Vibrate? I would do whatever they said the rules and regulations were pertaining to their show. Well, the rules and regulations of make marriage great oh, no. again oh, no. is that you have no. to have your phone. No. no, you don't get to do that. You don't get to oh. set those rules. You don't get to just do that. We've never come to and decided that you're trying to do that on the fly we don't need to come to nothing it's it's like studio etiquette it's podcast etiquette that you do not have your cell phone on i see people looking at cell phones and stuff all the time on no stuff. them ringing I like i said some things are just here to stay aren't they hmm. anyways ladies and gentlemen um, this is your episode today. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen. You're I, it. This no, it's not my episode. Yeah. But I do got some. This one is uh I got I got this inspiration from uh oh, 50 Cent. Here we go. When he said, Girl, <laughs> is he that you love me now? Bear down, bear down, would you bear love me if I was down? Bear down, bear down, out, bear down. Would you still have love for me? Would you love me in a Bentley? Darn out, darn out, darn Would you love me on the bus? Darn out, darn out, darn I got 21 questions, mm-hmm. and they all about us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so listen. Wait a minute. Your son just texted me and said, hey, Mom, I'm sorry. I know you're very busy. But if you could, please, on the way home, stop at Starbucks and grab me an Oreo <laughs> drink I just saw on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so... So he's an he's a he's a great communicator. King Judah Lancaster is an amazing communicator an amazing because communicator. that is verbatim what his text just said. So it's okay for you to look at your watch, but not me looking. It my just phone. happened to come in, and it was your son. So I figured that is a part of us. Anyways, so listen. Here we go. 
<laughs> Y'all, we gonna ask some questions on this on this episode. I think um, you gonna ask me questions? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Oh shoot! You know how Fifty was asking all of the questions. Uh, you know what I mean? What was the questions he was asking? Would you love me on a bus? Um, basically, like if he didn't have the money, or if he if he didn't have the prestige, if he didn't have, would would she still be down for him? Would she still be down for him? Uh-huh. Basically, what he was trying to figure this thing out. Uh-huh. And and I want to know, oh, um, God. you know, is you still gonna be down for me? <laughs> you See, know, bro, I've been down for. Let's, the, would okay, you, ask would the you, question. Would you still be down ask for me? The questions. I you can't know, wait to answer these. You know what I'm saying? If the tax much, return okay. wasn't what the tax return is, oh my God. would you still be down for me? You know, that's the question. Because we living in a society to where if that tax return ain't right, <laughs> good luck. See, and, and so, I want to have a whole episode about that because I think it's absolute trash. Women are on trash right now, but go ahead. Oh, wait a minute now. Women are on they, trash. They don't have the right. To no. want a, the tax return to be to be right. Is your tax return where what you asking his tax return to be at? That's what you would ask them. Yes. Well, if they say yeah, yeah, then then we can have a conversation. Yeah. But that ain't who is asking for the tax return. If it's, it's, it's these little chicks who driving a beat up Nissan Altima. Well, that's not true. in the sexy red. It is true. That's not always it that they listen to Lola Brooks. True. That's not always true. Man, Julius, listen. The majority right now of young women. Are being are being pushed by hip hop culture who have all of this stuff to say. These little heifers do not Whoa, eat. Wait, wait. Now you you harsh. I'm a woman, so I'm gonna go there. These young women do not even have what they have, what they're requesting or asking for. Maybe in some instances, Man, but not all a, of the no, time. In a lot of instances, because that is what's being pushed, and so it's kind of like. All your friends is entrepreneurs, right? And so you like, well, I'm gonna be an entrepreneur, and you jump out that tree and bust your face. You don't do it because that's what everybody is doing. Everybody is saying you have to do what fits you, and it just makes me mad. It makes me mad. The man's supposed to be the provider, and the man it, by himself? No, he is not. No, he is not. Ladies and gentlemen, we just struck a nerve. Made um, me hot. I'm sorry. I don't know this how whole. We- how we got there oh, it makes me hot. That's a whole, like I said, it's a whole other episode, but it, I think it's not right, and I think that that women are yeah. That's what might be the next some things that they ain't got no business putting these men through because they are not bringing anything that they're asking. You got to make two hundred thousand dollars a year, and I all I got to do is make fifty because you're supposed to be the provider. Well, let me. Well, that's a whole nother subject because I know one young lady. Who you know? What I mean, I I believe they had a conversation with somebody about something similar, and you know what they did was they used the Bible. They talking about what they was the favor, so they was bringing whatever they was bringing to the table. So yeah, everything and else didn't bringing, matter. If you're bringing favor, then your then it should re, you should reflect it. I agree. I mean, but I digress. We gonna have we gonna have an episode called "What's Your Tax Return?" or "Should the Tax Return Matter in a Marriage?" or you know, something along those lines. But before we even get to marriage, but continue. Go ahead. So, but I want to ask some questions uh, to you today. It ain't nothing crazy. Like, you ain't got your, you know, eyebrows, you know, doing all that, wrinkling and all that. It ain't nothing crazy. It's a pretty light situation. I'm but, with all the smoke, man. But no, it's no smoke. There's okay, no even smoke. if there was, I'm fine. There's, there's no smoke. Oh, fine. Let me just alleviate you, you know, of that thought. You're not alleviating me because I'm no, not. There's no smoke. I'm, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm like talking about you buck, the preparation right? of. There being smoke. I'm saying you're worried about it. There's no smoke. So just let your hair down. It's down. And relax. It is down. It's out a little bit, but it's yeah. down. Um, but so Did that- you just talk about the humidity <laughs> in my hair? <laughs> did you really just talk about... No. I, no. Lala, did you hear? You know what? Because just- Lala's going to watch this. Crystal is going to watch this. Did y'all see what he just said about my hair? Did you just bring up the poofiness of my hair? I just said it was out a little bit. I That's why I stay in braids. I for that okay. reason right there. All right. All and you right. always talk about you want my natural hair out, but then you talk about it. I'm not talking about it. What does out a little bit mean? It's out a little bit. I don't know how to really put it in words. So, you know, I'll leave it at that. Boy, you are on thin ice no. with hot skates. So listen, y'all. Um, That's just a quick question. And I want you to think about this because I know we just went to graders the other day. 
<laughs> okay. That's kind of like some of our, you know, our family, you know, escapade. Sometime we'll do, we'll do graders and stuff. If if I was an ice cream flavor, <laughs> which flavor would I be? How that Wu Tang song go? Oh yeah. What's that? French vanilla. French vanilla butter, butter, butter pecan, pecan chocolate, chocolate deluxe. deluxe. <laughs> That's what you would be. What? French vanilla, chocolate pecan, and your phone is your phone. It's on vibrate. So what? What flavor? That's one of my staff members. That's that's business. What flavor would I be? Mm. If you had to be an ice cream flavor, you would be. So when I go to Graders, I normally get two scoops of ice cream. And I normally get two scoops of ice cream because they serve two different purposes. Mm. Um, and I feel like you are like the best of both worlds. I feel like you're my greatest order. So I normally get salted caramel and butter pecan. Okay. So for me, you are salted caramel, butter pecan. Salted caramel and butter pecan. Mm-hmm. What if, I mean, what about the flavors? So salted caramel Talk is. Talk to me. Paint a picture. You get, um, you get, it's salty and it's sweet. It has a nice finish. So I feel like that's who you are. You're a little like up front. You're like, oh, you can be sometimes. But then you normally finish really sweet. Mm, okay. And then butter pecan is just an like old school, rich, classic flavor with texture. And I feel like you're definitely butter pecan. You're old school, like, uh, you're very rich, um, buttery. <laughs> Am I answering the question? Yeah, yeah. I was just like you're to... rich, like the way that you dress and the, and your taste in certain things. Like as you get older, you would be like a, a older man with like a Cuban and a cognac type. You know what I mean? Like a Cuban and a cognac. Yeah, like that's your and the pecan brings with a, texture. With a with a nice little hat. fedora. A nice fedora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the pecan brings texture. Um, because still you can be a little, a little rigid sometimes, you know. Like, something wrong with your neck. <laughs> like you bring you bring texture. Okay. All right. So, all right. What's one movie that you've watched? Uh, no, nah, I don't want to ask that question. <laughs> I don't want to ask that question. <laughs> I don't want to ask that question. Um if I was a Disney villain, huh. which one would I be? So I'm not really hip to all the Disney joints. Um, if I was a, if I was a, if I was, um, a superhero. Here we go. Which what one would I be? What superhero would you be? Yeah, which one would I be? Black Panther. Because <laughs> you're black. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, so let's see. I would say Iron Man. Really? Yeah, you're Tony Stark. Wow. Tony Stark had a had a, had a um, what's the one T word that I know I'm gonna mess up? Tremont, tremontulous, tre- tumultuous. There it is. Tumultuous. tumultuous childhood. But his father was unbelievable. Taught him. His father was like genius. Taught him everything he knew. And then, but he was able to take it way further than his father did and um busy was just business smart very 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 intelligent um and then he fought the the avengers he didn't want to be a part of their team like he kind of wanted to keep doing his own thing mm. but then the avengers were like but he he finally was like okay i'm gonna be with y'all mm. and ended up and then ended up saving all the avengers at the end mm. And he sacrificed himself too to save all of his friends. So mm. you'd be Iron Man. I'd be Iron Man. Yep. All right. So let me ask you Say this. Say that question. T word again. Tumultuous. Tumultuous. Yeah. So basically, T has some mulch and then chews us. Got it. <laughs> okay. Tell me that ain't it. Tumultuous. So what's what's your greatest flirtation technique? That you use with me. Why would I tell you that? Why wouldn't you? It's my secret power. 
Duh. So you're not going to say it? No. All right. So. Every woman has a thing that she does. And her man probably doesn't know that she does it. But we know if we do that one thing, we can get whatever we want. A yes, uh, a, a dinner date, a yes to vacation, uh, yes to our Amazon cart. Every woman has this thing, this this va va voom that she can do or she can say. Every woman knows. I think every and, man has it too. And you think that you have one of those with me. I know I do. That's proven to work. That's undefeated. I have a brand new house that's being built as we speak. No. <sighs> you asked, and I'm telling you, it works. And so you think the house that is almost completed uh-huh. is a direct result of whatever that va va voom thing is that you claim that you do? 100%. So it's not necessarily like ba ba boom like sexual. No, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I it's don't just think every that. woman has a every woman. I believe every man has it too. Men know, they know how to get their woman. Every woman knows how to get their man. Wow. I I know. Let me tell you what it is. Yeah. Yes. When you when I am completely um, like little little girlish like. You are uh, you you make all the decisions. Your daddy war bucks. I, I win every time. So what you're saying is is you play the role as if I'm out here just handling all this business and making all of these decisions, and you think what that does for me is it feeds some of some of maybe the bravado that I deal with or some of the masculinity that I deal with. So you're you're saying that's that's your femininity feeding my masculinity so that you can in turn get what you want. Yes. Because I saw this I saw this uh small video snippet the other day on social media and it was this lady um talking about the dynamics between a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. And what she was saying basically the gist of what she was saying is that there's a certain level of there's a certain appetite that masculine has it craves 100 percent and 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 there's and she was saying that the dynamic is developed in such a way and it's been created in such a way that the feminine is supposed to feed the masculine Mm. it doesn't mean that there's any sort of inequality happening or anything like that yeah no i don't take any any top tier or anything like that but what she's saying is is this is the relational activity between the masculinity and the femininity yeah and what she was saying is 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 that's why certain men don't like certain women Women. is because they're not providing enough femininity into the situation to feed the masculinity Wow, I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah, that's what she was saying. And I was and watching. We will call it sexy, and it's not sexy. It's it's femininity. Yeah. Wow, that's good. Yeah, and 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 what and and I was watching. I was like, you know, just kind of like taking it in, trying not to form an opinion about it, but just like taking it in. Mm-hmm. And she was saying some of those traits, you know, that a lot of the times men don't like is is men may not necessarily like you know the controlling woman. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or, or, or you know, the, the woman that feels like she needs to be in charge. Because or it's taking away from... It's taking the, away from what she was saying the masculine was is kind of created and designed to do. I was going to say, and it's, and it's not chauvinistic. It's literally who y'all are. Yeah. It's, it's who men are. And the minute that... And I always say this. You have to... Your, your husband or your spouse or your significant other as a woman... He better feel like a man. Well, here's the deal, though. I agree. But I think, and this is a whole nother conversation, but I think a lot of the times I don't I don't know if men always know how to properly handle that. True. And so then it turns toxic and True. then you get toxic patriarchy. You get a, some ridiculousness. Well, no, but I, I, think, I think that is. No, I think that they don't know how to explain it as eloquently as the lady did as, as you are. She it, did. It's, it's not take toxic patriarchy. It's. I need my masculinity fueled. Right. And, and I didn't and women ask. women take it like, 
I ain't supposed to feel you. And what am I the most? Maybe. You know, and a whole bunch of this. And it's like, we we now understand is that if we feel you, then you'll feel us. I mean, the Bible even says that. Like, mm. submit yourselves one to another. Like, and, and it's like, and it's like to the things that are the strengths of the gender. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, when it's when, when she was talking about masculinity and, and the woman feeding that, it's like feeding that innate desire of the masculine mm-hmm. to to protect to ensure to secure yeah. to provide like feed that and i think when you feed that the re- it's re- it's reciprocal you literally are then coming back to me and you're feeding the the feminine part of me yeah because there's there is a feminine part of me whether i try to fight it or not that desires to be cared for, that desires to be safe, that desires to be provided for. Like, it's in me. It's almost like what happens is, is I think we don't like to discuss it. And I think it shows because a lot of the times I hear people talking about these gender roles and all of that. Yeah. You know, and no one wants to really, like, have those anymore because, you know, everything is... It's fluid. fluid. Everything is all this fluidity everywhere. And I'm not necessarily, you know, whatever. That is what it is. But what I'm saying is, is innately, though, there are some things that I feel like men kind of feel like men should be doing Mm -hmm. and women kind of feel like women should be doing. Not necessarily from a role perspective, but from a masculine feminine perspective. Well, I think that that's where the confusion is, is because we have stepped in. And we've created roles assigned to that feeling. And I don't believe that you can. Well, I, 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 I because if I'm, if you're, if your masculinity is connected to or tied to you feeling like the provider, I can make all of the money and still you feel like the provider. So, okay. But what about this though? What about it's two 30 in the morning mm-hmm. and you have a desire to be protected <laughs> And stuff, mm-hmm. and we hear a noise downstairs, and I say, "Babe, go check that out." <laughs> there, there, there's a part of yeah. the femininity in you that's looking at the the, the masculinity in me and saying, "You're supposed to be so doing what that." So, this though? What if the woman is an army vet and she's freaking trained? Okay, oh, I get it. So again, <clears throat> yes, typically would a man. Uh, step in and protect the weaker one physically, weaker just physically. So, yes. so what I think is, is I'm not saying that those situations aren't necessarily role related. Yeah. I feel like those are like masculine slash feminine related. And and I think. Well, what and, do you do when two women are in a relationship or two men I'm are not, in a relationship? I'm not doing that. I don't want to even do that. Because because what I believe, even in that, even in same sex relationships, there's one that's, There's a masculine and yeah, there's a feminine. I believe it. There's, right. a, there's a top and a bottom. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I'm saying? However you want to discuss it. I don't. And, and this is Woo! not. This is not a knock. I'm Pass not. Up. I don't have any. You know what I mean? This is not that. But I am just saying, I do think that. Though. Yes, I do believe that there's. There's one that's yes. looked to to be to yes. operate in a masculine, more of a masculine way. And I think by by the by the sake of us being humans, I think I think it happens. I was like going to say I think just as far as we kind of like our like uh, pack animals by default. By default, somebody takes the lead. It just it somebody takes the lead. I don't care if you're dealing with a group project, if you're dealing with a group of friends. Somebody takes the lead. So here's the question then. Is masculine and feminine necess- automatically connected to male and female? How in the world do we end up here, bro? I don't know because I asked you. What question did I ask you? We talking about ice cream. No. And now we're here. No. I asked you about, we, I, I asked you about if I was a, a superhero, superhero, who would I be? And then you start talking about Iron Man, Tony Stark. You started going through some of the things of Tony some Stark. Of his, some of his attributes, yeah. Some, some of his attributes. And uh, and I don't know how we I got. I don't know either. We have to rewind this tape because. I don't know how we got here. David, how did we end, end up here? But it's one of the pit stops. Oh. Um, now, what's the question? No, I asked you next about. What what's your flirt? What's your flirtation oh, yeah, yeah, technique yeah, yeah, yeah. for me? And, you and said you down. wasn't going to tell me, and, and then you start you. telling me when you play the role of the little girl, and then 
you know what I mean? Because basically you were saying you kind of feed that desire in me to be masculine and because be I know the protector. That's what, because I know that's what you want. Yeah. You, you want, yeah. um, and I don't know many men who don't, you want to feel good about providing. You want to feel good about being able to show up. You want to feel good about writing a check. You want to feel, you feel good. You, you It's kind of like, you want to be able to say, yeah, I built my wife a house. If, if it, that does. And I know it does. Yeah. And so, and but, so but I, I leave it alone. But like, my, but my question did. was, is, is masculine and feminine automatically connected to male and female sex organs? Yeah. The biological reality no, of a male yes. and a female I, I say yes. if, if is, there, is masculinity about, is, is a thing that should go with the male yes. and femininity I, I, should I, go with the talking female science. If you're talking hormones, if you're talking something that makes me the way that I am, the w- then yes, because hormonally, I can't I can't stop growing breast, I can't stop having a cycle. So so again, I don't think that's fin- fin- let me finish. Well, so yeah, hormonally, yeah. those yes, those things then make me feminine, um, feminine because they're referred to as feminine products and feminine that's what we call parts them. and feminine everything. And so yes. If hmm. if you took all of that away, if I started taking something to reverse my hormones and I took away my breasts and I start growing chin hair and I had no more estrogen, it was more testosterone, then I would absolutely be more masculine. Man. So, okay. And I wonder with that, would I then lose my desire to be nurtured? cared for, protected. Like, I wonder, does that then go out the window? Because now I am full of testosterone. I, I think I think humans have a desire to be nurtured and cared for. I think we, we've we talked about it before. We talk about everybody wants to belong and things like that. But I think what happens is, is the way in which nurturing happens. It's been socially constructed. That part has been. Mm-hmm. That part has been deemed a female job. Gender role. Nurturing came from mom. Well, the, well. so again, though, I think a man providing for and protecting of a woman, there's a nurture. It's nurturing for the woman. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, you know what I'm saying? So and, nurturing is not linear. Talk about that last episode. It's not linear. Nurturing looks like a whole lot of things. Yeah. And so because of that, I think that's why the question is, though, is 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 it automatically then what, tight? Do you, what do you think then? Well, I don't. I, I'm. This is a question that I'm. I'm really posing because I don't. So know. you're putting me in the hot seat. Well, that was what we talked about in the beginning of the episode, mm. and so I get I think because I can think of you know different women who exhibit and exude what a lot of people would refer to as masculine traits because of what we thought masculine is again, and so. Masculine traits have been socially constructed, which has also been very toxic for our society because there's a lot of men who then who then don't do what we deem masculine and they've been de- deemed feminine. Or well, soft. we, we got to Well, we got to revisit what I told you. The lady said about the feminine feeding the masculine in this next episode, because if that's the case. And if feminine and masculine is totally connected to biological construction. I take my answer back. It's not. And I'm going to tell you why it's not. We're about to end the episode. The yeah, reason t- why tell me it, later. T- tell me on the next episode. T- t- I have to t- keep it because t- that's good. Yeah. It's not tied. Yeah. It's not tied to sexual organs at all. Y'all, we started out trying to ask 21 questions. That's, we didn't get the four. We, we caught okay. about three or, three or four questions. But I think the questions are so good that they provide a space and an opportunity for us to have conversation yeah. that a lot of times it's not had. So y'all, we ended up talking about masculinity and femininity and all of that. And we're going to continue this conversation on the next 21 all questions. All of it's because episode. of Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. That's all we talked about was Iron Man. And here he go. No, it, it came I mean, from, what was my secret? What was your flirtation, was flirtation technique? technique? Yeah. And we ended up getting there because you told me that you reverted to basically femininity and masculinity. That's part of your technique mm-hmm. to, to, to get what you want. You, fl- you Not appeal, necessarily get you what appeal, I want. You it's... appeal to my nature wow. in order to get what I want. That's a whole other conversation. Okay, we're gonna, y'all. We're listen, that. season three is in full effect. Go yeah. subscribe right now on YouTube. Yeah. Make Marriage Great Again podcast. On YouTube. Go follow us on Instagram. 
make Mar- MMGA podcast MMGA podcast on Instagram and on Facebook. It's Make Marriage Great Again podcast on Facebook. And I need y'all to subscribe right yeah. now. Yeah. Set the alarm, set the alert so that when we go on YouTube, you'll be notified. Share this video with all your friends, your families, everybody. So y'all can all chime into the conversation together. For sure. We're going to see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.